Hi everyone, when it comes to text to image engines or models, there are two leaders in the arena, Mid Journey version 6 and Dal E version 3. But lately, a new player has emerged called Ideogram. They released a version 1, and it's supposed to be very strong in the terms of rendering text and in coherency. It can actually compete with Dali when it comes to coherency. I would say that the overall image quality is a bit less, but in this video, we're going to go over its main features. We're going to take a look how it renders text, and we will do a small comparison between the quality of Ideogram version 1, Mid Journey 6, and Dali 3. So without any further delays, let's go. So of course we will start by going directly to Ideogram's website. The link of course is in the description. And on the website you can see some creations of the community, very similar to other models. You can have here a prompt and on the prompt you have several features. Magic prompt basically takes your prompt, passes it through an AI that further enhances the prompt, adds more detail, we will take a look at it later. You can choose the ratio of the image and it gives you some kind of a preview how the image will look like. You can have a selection of the model and you can either choose public or private. Private is only for the subscription members. Regarding subscription, there is a free subscription that gives you 25 prompts per day. Each prompt generates four images and you have some subscriptions. They are pretty generous. $8 monthly and the $20 monthly. It gives you a very large amount of generations. I usually use the, use the free tier in such things because it's more than enough uh, if you ask me. Uh, but you shouldn't ask me. You should ask yourself. And you can actually write a prompt. A beautiful red apple on a wooden table. I really like this prompt. I have no idea why but we started with it, so we're going to stick with it and continue with it. And here you can have some tags that will give you the sense of the render. So we will choose cinematic for our example. Let's choose a one by one. I usually like checking models with a one by one ratio because then you can match it with other models. And let's turn off the magic prompt because we want to see how it handles the prompt as is. Later on, we'll take the same prompt and pass it through the magic prompt and see the difference. And let's click generate. Once you click generate, it gives you some kind of a preview of the set of images that it generated. You can actually see the creation process. It's kind of a nice feature. I'm not sure how useful it is because the final render is very simple. It only gives you the basic structure of the image. And once it's done, you can see the render times are very fast. It gives you a set of four images where you can go over and look at them. You can see that the Apple rendering is very nice. The details, the reflection of the Apple, the reflection of the Apple is very nice. You can see the wood texture is in, with high details and it looks all in all very great quality. And you can actually click Remix, which is very similar to image to image. It gives you the ability to add an image as the source of the prompt. What I do want to show you is the magic prompt. Once you click on and you click on generate, and if we'll go to the generated image, now if you'll go to the generate image, you can see that the actual prompt, the prompt that we generated was a beautiful red apple on a wooden table, cinematic, but the actual prompt that went to the model was a stunning cinematic close-up shot of a perfectly ripe red apple. So the magic prompt actually enhanced and added some more details. I can actually think I, I actually think that this image looks very good. Look at the texture of the wood. It looks a bit old uh, wood, which is very nice. Uh, and overall, the image quality is very high. Uh, it generates 1024 by 1024. And looks very nice, but we need to check the coherency of this model. So we were going to make a little test. We're going to do something like that. A red box next to a green sphere, a blue triangle in the foreground, a small cat runs between them. Let's see how it deals with this prompt and we're going to turn off magic prompt and let's click generate and see how it handles 
such a prompt and we're going to copy this and while it's running we're going to dali through being create we're going to dali 3 and we're going to use the exact same prompt and see the comparisons of the two models so you can see here that it got right the red box next to a greenish sphere it nailed the blue triangle and there is actually a small cat that runs in between them i think that this image nailed the prompt it's exactly what we expected the reflections here are, are a bit problematic but all in all the image looks beautiful it's one to one uh, what we asked the model to generate you can see that some images look worse than the others i think that overall this image looks the best and let's see what dali generated it actually failed to generate a cinematic so let's also add the cinematic keyword here and see how it handles it and we can actually take the exact oh i misspelled cinematic here we can actually take the exact same prompt and paste it into midjourney as is of course we're using version 6 and let's give it a go and see what we're going to get in midjourney you can see the dali actually failed to generate the image properly and the ideogram image nailed it in every aspect of the prompt so a point goes to ideogram which is very significant and let's go to midjourney and actually midjourney also did a pretty good job it added some extra shapes here but you can see that it nailed the red box and the green uh, sphere and the blue uh, triangle and the little cat behind it so dali is far behind here but now let's check something more interesting which is text rendering so let's go back to ideogram and this time we're going to generate a text rendering and see how it goes and this time we're going to create a brick wall with the words the ai art carved on it a uh, poisonous i misspelled poisonous there ivy is climbing the wall and let's see how it handles it i'm going to leave it on cinematic i think that the cinematic gives it a very nice touch and let's click generate and of course while it generates we will do the same on dali and we will say do the same on mid journey so we're back so here it almost nailed it the ai went very well here it almost nailed it but here it actually nailed it quite nicely and i think this image is spectacular it looks beautiful look at the poisonous ivy look at the brick wall look at the carving it actually looks like an actual carving in a wall the details and the textures is is beautiful and the last image also nailed it but ah uh, no it, it it doubled the ai word here i think this image is very coherent and the text rendered perfectly so nice job to ideogram and you can see that dali also managed to do it uh, here it did a double eye i think that here it got it right but the overall image if you compare the ideogram and the dali i think that the ideogram did a, a much better job uh, also here let's add the word cinematic just to be fair so with the word cinematic it looks a bit more uh, uh realistic i would say but if i'm looking at this rendering and this rendering i think that this is much more authentic if you told me this is a picture of, of a wall brick somewhere in in a street i would believe you the textures is unbelievable and i think that ideogram did a very good job let's see what mid journey did so mid journey as mid journey the overall image is very nice the colors and it almost i think it almost let's just open it in a browser so we can zoom in i think it almost nailed the words it's very shame that it didn't hear it actually nailed the text and it looks very nice uh but i'm going to give ideogram the score here this image actually looks phenomenal uh, but all engines did a very good job
Uh, let's try and see if we can make the challenge even harder. And instead, we will just say a road sign saying, this is the place to find out about AI art. Ooh, so this is going to be a challenge because this is a lot of text and I am not sure that any of the engines will nail it, but let's just see. I'm going to leave the word cinematic here and we're going to run it on all engines. And let's see what happens. Okay, so we can see that Ideogram, although it managed to render all the words, it did kind of a doubling here with a, to find a, to find out about AR art, but the text is very nice. By the way, in Photoshop, it's very easy to fix it. So overall, it's a very compelling image. This is the place to find about AI art. But once again, overall the image is very nice. This is the place to find out about, I just missed the T here, AI art. I really like this image. And this is the place to find out about, about AI art. <laughs> and it also added the word cinematic, which is very nice. But I think that this image actually did the best job. And it is very hard for a text to image engine to generate that much words with the same font. Look, look at the consistency of the font with the capitalizations. And it actually looks very nice. And let's see how Dali did it. And I think that Dali also did a very nice job. Uh, I would say that this is also with the oit ot about. So the rendering is very nice. It took it to a Las Vegas style road sign, I think. Um, this is uh, this is a place to out about. I think it also made a very nice job. Um, but once again, with all the duplications, I think that this is the best image I would choose. I, I really also like the the lighting effect and, and that everything else is dark. So it really emphasizes the, the road sign. Uh, also here, the road sign, uh, it's kind of a rule of thirds. You can see that it's not exactly in the center. And let's see what about Mid Journey. So Mid Journey uh, also did an amazing job when it comes to the rendering. As always, I really like Mid Journey's rendering. Uh, but when it comes to the text, I think uh, this is actually a very good job. If the road sign was uh, uh, direction correctly it would be amazing so, so overall it's very nice this image is beautiful and here I think that the, the results are, are close with each and every model all the results are very nice this looks very realistic uh, this looks quite amazing and this is very very beautiful the image composition and the textures it's very nice the road looks a bit like water and the sign is stationed inside the road. Also here, you can see that it actually created the road a bit watery, but all in all, uh, I think that Ideogram uh, really generates good quality images. And the uh, last comparison we're going to do is an overall image that was generated by an AI prompt. And we're going to use ChatGPT to help us generate a prompt and we'll say, create a prompt describing in much detail, a scene from a fictional movie with a mystical animal creature. Make it one paragraph, be concise, and use some adjectives to describe the scene. Uh, let's see how ChatGPT handles this instruction. And it's, it looks very nice. I'm not going to read you the entire um, prompt, but all in all, in a moonlight forest shrouded in a mist, a majestic creature resembling a fusion of a dragon and a unicorn emerges from the depths. And we're going to take the, the prompt as is, and we're going to paste it in all the engines. And here I'm not going to use the cinematic. I'm going to let the engine... Uh, make its own decision and let's click generate and the same goes for the DAL-E3 and the same goes for our beloved 
complete journey. And now let's go over the images. So you can see that all in all, the generated image is very nice. It does look kind of a unicornish dragon. So I think that overall, you can realize it's a fantasy creature uh, and you can recognize the dragon. You can, reg I really like this image. And I would go with this image. I really like it. I like the colors. I like the, the composition with the moon. It really curves around the tree, which makes the comp composition very nice. I really like how it interpreted the horn. It's a bit not, not, not in the right place, but all in all, it's a very nice image. And you can see that Dali actually generated a very nice image. It really looks nice. I really like the details and the lighting it added on the featherish concept. It's kind of a featherish concept, I, I guess. Uh, I guess it's kind of a scalish feathers fur thingy. Very nice image. And I'm really intrigued how the journey interpreted it. And once again, as always, the journey generated a very nice, wow, look at this image. This is amazing. Look at the, the eyes and the details on the horse's hair. Hey, it's very nice. Wow, I really like this image. So this is it for this video. I really hope you enjoy it. I'm really excited to see what the future holds when it comes to text to image technologies. It seems like every week a new technology emerges or a, a major improvement in technology. Once Stable Diffusion will release their version 3, I am sure the industry will be blown away with all the things that the community will generate. So if you like the video, please click the like and subscribe and see you on the next one. Bye.